This is the wildest story. So there's a new trend influencers started. Uh, you sunbathe your butthole. Have you heard that? No. Yep. It's called. Uh, it's it's a new popular trend. No. Uh, people are literally tanning where the sun don't shine. How do you even uh, do that? How do you? I will show you. Are uh, the uh, they spreading their cheeks or they put like a twig in between their cheeks to no, keep it, it open? Is, it, a twig? No, it's like this. <laughs> Yo, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> how long have we been gone? <laughs> it's been about a week. All right. What's up, guys? I'm to hear more. And I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet. You're scary. Yes, sir. Happy holidays, you guys. Yeah, man. We staying in the holiday lane for this theme song, or? Um. Well, I mean, we we can. We you know we still got Christmas, and we got about three weeks until then. So. So we could take a break. Yeah, let's, let's, let's switch it up, man. All right. Well, we did. Let's not target them to death because Target plays Christmas music from target the them? last week of Thanksgiving up until like the second week of January. You'd be like, enough. I love when people start early. Like, <laughs> the Grove already probably got Santa Claus. Oh, my Christmas. God. I took pictures with, with Santa in July at the Grove. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how early they start. <laughs> it's just like, Jesus, give it a break you already. On, you're on the clock early. Yeah, he had on shorts. I was like, this is weird sitting on your leg with no, no pants on. So we're taking a break from holiday music yeah let's switch it up let's switch it up what are we going like trap uh i don't know what well, you decide the, the the beat and i'll do that now nah, you do the song because i did the song i like the last couple ones okay Bless you. it's pretty good uh what's far away from uh holiday music yeah country grunge grunge like like, like, like uh <laughs> Like drums and all that shit. Isn't grunge more like Nirvana-esque? No, that's alternative pop. Grunge? I thought Nirvana started grunge. With like, uh, what's the deodorant? Smells like teen spirit. Oh, teen spirit. <laughs> no, that's like, that's like alternative pop, bro. Well, let's like do rock. that then. All right. I'm more familiar with the Nirvana sadness okay. than death metal. Uh, <laughs> Fucking... Yeah, give me, give me some alternative with like a mel melodic <laughs> breakdown. Okay. Uh, they always right. do that. Alright. Doom 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 Cocaine is a hell of a drug That shit all in my blood That shit taking my love Damn internet, you scary as hell I was here before I fell in the well I was looking for the bitch from the ring Said I was looking for the bitch from the ring I wanted a couple things <laughs> What? <laughs> I think I was trying to have sex with the girl from the ring. <laughs> it got so weird. I, got I had to block out. it out because I was like, this is going to fuck me up. I was like, have I ever listened to Nirvana? Ever? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think so because that was nothing like Smells Like Teen Spirit or. <laughs> this was like... <laughs> it was a little happier than I <laughs> I have a great Kurt Cobain voice. It, it started out okay and it was like, Not it just got progressively you. worse. No. That's usually how mine go. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but I mean, we that's did how it. The brain works. They've been working. They've been rocking with it though. Damn Squad is that? Is that we did we settle on Damn Squad? Is that what we go? The over? top ones are Damn Squad and Scary People. Those are the ones that keep getting suggested. Like, what up, Scary People? What up, Damn Squad? Damn Squad. Damn I gotta like Squad. That. I gotta like that. I gotta Damn like, Squad. Yeah. All right, let's do damn squad. Damn squad. Damn squad. You gotta make t-shirts for the for the squad, man. For the damn squad. Yeah, I'm we'll with that. Some, maybe do some free giveaways with some of the t-shirts. Come up with a couple of designs. Speaking away. Uh, speaking of giving away stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to our patreons and all the new ones. We yes. flooded you guys last week. Yeah. We got the lunchtime lottery. We yeah. got the worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. We got the podcast. We're just giving it all to you guys because we love you. Yeah, man. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we have a great time filming it, especially like that. That turkey cake still is on my mind. Dog. It's really like, messed up. It is. It is. It's on really that messed heavy. up. Heavy. Um, and lunchtime lottery is always a lot of fun when they actually deliver our food or get it right. Oh yeah, they have. They, yeah. Postmasters they played me over the weekend again. Really, bro? I'm like, what are y'all? 
doing? Not during the rain, right? No, it was before the rain, bro. Okay. It was a, this was actually maybe like Friday that they played me heavy. Uh-huh. Like, just didn't bring any of the drinks. It's like, man, they running that motherfucker like a mom and pop but, shop. But they came. They came. It's the worst. The order was wrong. Out. I didn't have both drinks. It was like, they were literally running it like a mom and pop. The, the worst <laughs> like is when you're, like, when you're like, I shouldn't Postmates. Like, I'm going to just go out and get the food. And you end up Postmating, and it still messes up. So, like, an hour, hour and a half later, you're like, I not only do I not have food, I have to order it again. It's, it's a big fail. It's I've, a really I've, big been, fail. I've been really against Postmating, not just because of, like, the... Uh, $40 extra charge? That... But just like them, the error proofing that they have not got down packed. But man, it's so it's so goddamn hard to put pants back on once I'm home. Mm-hmm. Like once I am home, oh, I feel like someone can deliver a sandwich here. Oh, I'm just, I got my robe on. I'm chilling. Let me tell you something too, because like once you got like a family in the home or you got a kid in the home like that, like walking around naked is a privilege. Yeah. I can't wait to. <laughs> People leave my house and I just have it to myself. That's the And I just, as soon as the door opens, you're just like, <laughs> oh my God. As soon as they're gone, I am just naked. I'm washing dick, dishes naked, yeah. uh, cooking naked. I might have the apron on, depending on what I'm cooking. I want to splash back on me and burn Gosh. myself. But yeah, just naked, man. It's I hate like, how you just force that image into everybody's heads. I'm naked sorry, just, guys. I'm sorry. Mm, playing, I got my, my cleanup playlist on. Just taking it. Why would you cook naked if you're postmating? Hmm. No, I'm just saying, like, I was just talking about, I was posting and then I switched to, yeah, talking, being by myself. Being by yourself is top five events that you can do. It's probably, like, being by yourself, Mm -hmm. then, like, hanging out with somebody, then, like, party. Oh, yeah. That's probably the order. I love my me time, and I love my music. There are a lot of times people try to call me on the phone, and I just watch it ring when I'm in the car. And I just watch it ring, or I just send them straight to voicemail because I love. I would much rather listen to music than talk to people. Most oh, I hate the phone. Uh, just, I hate the phone. Text when I call me. Pat, I can feel it in his voice. He does not want to answer, it, but he will not text me back on time. That's so not I true. Have to call. That is not true. A lot of times I have to call you, Pat. You well. When did you receive my text this morning when I texted you and I told you that the guest can You texted me at like 6 a.m. I wasn't even up yet. I'm an adult, Pat. I have a kid. <laughs> I had to get ready for school. I'm up, man. I'll be you fucking up. Ready to, to be school. <laughs> even when we was at ADD, I was always there early. I'll be at ADD at like 7. Nobody started strolling in to like 9, 9, 15. Ooh, I'm always there early. I was like, what time do I have to be there? 9? I'll see you at 10.30. <laughs> and it was not on purpose. It was just, just how my, I'm so bad at morning. So now that I like work for myself, it's like... It's mornings even are worse. the worst. <laughs> mornings are the worst. I'm, sometimes I'll be getting out of bed at like 12, and I'm yes. like, nigga. Yes. But I'll be, be doing a lot of work on my laptop and my phone, but it's just like, I, it doesn't feel like the day starts until I get out of bed. Yeah. Which yeah. is like, it's a, it's a lot. It is, man. And you know what's harder is that, like, when you have a job that you have to go to, um, it becomes routine schedule, like where you just get up, Which even if you don't want to. Yeah, it's good. Even if you don't feel like it, you know, all right, I have to go here. But when you work for self, especially like what we do, like mm-hmm. like today is raining, is it's dreary oh outside. God. I I'm had a bad dream. I didn't. I almost called you and was like, "Hey, man, let's push this to tomorrow." I'm not really <laughs> bad dream. I did, man. I had one of them dreams, like, well, like you're not gonna make it, like career wise. And I just was like, I was down. Unless I have a, a, a shoot today, you could always push this shit. <laughs> Two o'clock, six o'clock, <laughs> sounds good, nigga. Especially when it's raining. Oh my god, I'm open. I traffic actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I was prepared. Really? I was prepared for it to be trash. I had brought raining. bags with me to pick up the trash. I just knew it was gonna be horrible. <laughs> but it actually wasn't that bad. I don't know. Maybe people thought it was gonna be bad, so everybody left earlier. Mm-hmm. But uh yeah, it only took me like forty minutes like to get here. I am the enjoying the rain, uh, especially if I have nothing to do. If you, oh, rain is oh. very different if you could if you could just stay and work in the house. Yeah, if you have is. to do errands and driving around. It's rain the is worst. the worst thing in the world, especially it's if you have to walk somewhere. Yeah, I'm good. I saw a dog like walking in the rain. I could tell it was somebody's dog because uh, they had the collar on. I felt so bad. Mm-hmm. Like the rain was coming down. Oh, and they went with here. the human. Yeah, they went with that person. It was just Straight walking. Dogs. I was like, ah, I want to stop, but I really don't even really fuck with dogs. So. Uh. I don't even look at stray dogs anymore. I, I took a stray dog home in college. I named him Popeye. He was amazing. He was this little dog. He had his tongue sticking out. I kept him for like 
four weeks, and then we started seeing uh, the posters. The posters, and I still didn't want to give him back. I was like, "Who the hell is Bubbles? This nigga's name is Popeyes." Because uh, <laughs> we found him, we were all eating Popeyes. Uh, <laughs> you little guys are prisoners of the moment. My mom got pissed at me because I was like, I don't, "I'm still not going to give him back." And I ended up uh, calling the family. They're like, "There's a reward." So I went over there. It was this Mexican family that didn't speak English. Ugh. These niggas sent the daughter over to me. They said something to her in Spanish. She came over to me with the dog and was like, how much do you want? And I was like, you, you mind fucks. You guys attacked my brain. I was like, with you know, the don't, kid? Even, don't even worry about it. I would have been a savage. See, that's how my brain works. My brain was like. Seventeen million dollars. It was it was so sad because first of all it said reward, so mm -hmm. you guys should have had a set price. Absolutely, ain't no nego. I'm not negotiating with a little girl with a puppy. Like, oh, can you do can you do five hundred? We don't have that. Like, <laughs> I'm not doing that. I feel like a kingpin. Yeah, like, I feel like I was just like, all right, how much do you got? Like, how man, much is that watch? Yeah, give just, me your what's money. in your pockets. Just give me what's in your pockets. <laughs> I'll take that. I think that's fair. What's in your pockets? Pillage their poor little family. No. I wish more. I wish more stories would go dark. Like, like I like dark humor. Like that's why I love Archer and, and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Like, like I want to write something where like the family is breaking up, the husband and wife are splitting, and then uh, the husband goes to the kids' room and is like, "Hey, listen, you know I'm about to get out of here, uh, and I know when I leave, your mom's gonna have a talk with you, and she's gonna let you know that, you know, what happened is because we're adults and it's not your fault. Well, I just want to let you know this bullshit." You are definitely two thirds of the problem in this <laughs> relationship. It's like stepbrothers. <laughs> it is all your fault. You guys are the biggest douchebags. It's just like, oh, who are we kidding? It yeah. is one hundred percent your fault. I love absolutely. <laughs> I, but I want it to be a drama, like a serious drama, and like he just like just is a dick, like like bad Santa, but like as a regular person or shit. Just bad like, Santa. Who's that? Billy. Uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Billy, Billy Bob, Bob Thornton. Thornton. You got to do that sex scene with Halle Berry. Man, that's really all I know him for. And uh, marrying Angelina Jolie. It's a real yeah. random old dude who had, yeah. the, had the women. He Man, he had Halle Berry saying, make me feel good. I watched that scene an embarrassing amount of times. I think it was scene 16 on my DVD. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. It was toward the middle. It was scene 16. And... The only reason I know that is I have yet to see Monsters Ball. Don't know what it's about. Don't know what any scene around that scene. I don't know what anything happened. Just that scene to that scene. He smashed the doves out of her. Yeah. Remember, when the, remember when the doves left? The, yeah. He was like, Grr! and the doves was like, let me get out of here. And I was like, I don't know about this. I ain't staying around to find out. It's like, doves? This is heaven? Yeah. <laughs> The Let's flower my up. sweet little Halle Berry. <laughs> I remember the first thing I saw any portion of Halle Berry naked on was Sword on uh, Swordfish. When she was sitting out there sunbathing and she dropped that joint. Yeah. I was like, oh, titties. <laughs> Boobs. That's when Halle Berry was on the cover. I forgot what magazine. But she was like labeled as the, a title there. I don't say mm -hmm. label. Titled as the most beautiful woman in the world. And I feel like Man. that was like one of the first times a black woman had ever received that accolade. Really? So, yeah. Halle Berry was the shit. She, I mean, I, I saw a picture of her recently. She's still crazy. Oh, she's still. She's still. Um, it's but, unfortunate that, that she gets in a lot of relationship with guys who are unfaithful to her. Is that her thing now? Yeah, a lot of I, I feel like they're all white, too. <sighs> she have a kid with a yeah. white dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. Black men don't cheat, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, <laughs> he said, mm hmm. Remember when Ray J was shooting a shot at Halle Berry? No, when? He was like, if I had one wish, it would be. That was all dedicated to Halle Berry. That song? That song. He was dancing in the rain, doing the spin and all of this. Seriously? All of, all of that. Were there any lyrics that were talking about her specifically? I can't remember, but I, th I think so. But look, look at I'm telling you, man. Look, Find this on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> Ray J, one wish, was dedicated to Halle Berry, bro. My man thought he had a shot. And he might have. He might have. I don't know. I can't say it. But I can't see. Hey, he just sold all those scooters. He might. Yeah. I mean, now. But, you know. Damn. They didn't even acknowledge Ray J in this search. Oh, no. You got to type in One Wish Ray J. And I'm sure they had something. Definitely not how you spell Halle Berry. Halle Ray J rejected by Halle Berry. There it is. I'm going to go to this one. There it is. All right. Let's, I do not accept. <laughs> 
One wish hit maker who dated Whitney Houston on and off. Forgot about that. I did too. Um, he said he was doing a little presenting at a red carpet event, and but his advances, uh, his advances practically laughed off. He tells U.S. talk show about Wendy, uh, uh, talk show host Wendy Williams. I tried to get with Halle Berry one time. She probably doesn't even remember because I was like hosting, asking her questions on the red carpet. Very unprofessional. <laughs> this was maybe like three years ago. Uh, I walked up to her and just was like, "Yo, I just interviewed you, but you're so pretty. I would love to take you out on a date." And all she did was go, "Aw." They was on the red carpet talking about, so tell us who you're wearing tonight. I'm um, wearing something by Balenciaga. That's amazing. Would you like to be wearing this dick? Excuse me? Well, at least he waited till after the interview, because I've seen interviews where the, the anchor will straight up like hit on the person on live TV. And yeah. Like, it, was a, it was a sports uh, uh, reporter. It was a white chick that was interviewing The black dude, dude who was yeah. like, had a hot dog. He was yeah. like, ha, ha, ha. Uh, and she was like, well, you should come, give me a call sometime. He's yeah. Like, <laughs> that one, too. He's like. On, live, on TV? You like, do don't that, make it weird. You want to do that right? Yeah, don't make it weird. Was just just like, you made it weird, but okay. <laughs> I didn't know you was allowed to do this. Oh, that was so good. That's funny. She awed Ray J. That is, that is. Aww. See, the internet, man. The internet provides boundless entertainment. And I, some of it is scary. I feel like afterwards, he was just like, right, I'm just get back to work. <laughs> I'm going to get back to work. We call Kim Kardashian and see what she's doing real quick. I know, right? Yeah, I mean, Ray J had them. <laughs> Ray J had some, some pretty nice Ray J, Ray J and Nick Cannon have had some of the best in the game. Nick Cannon, I hear, is crazy. Nick Cannon is a beast with it. You understand me? I don't you even know. Me? I, don't even, I don't even know how to, to go with that. These guys aren't a... Well, I mean, clearly Ray J... Didn't do his best with Halle Berry. We could even say he underperformed. Ooh. Transition. Every, every, every. Oh, my stars. So to hear. Yes. Speaking of underperformance. Yeah. You know, we, we, we talking about women. We talking about, you know, back in your, back in your heyday. Mm-hmm. Um, what is, uh, have you ever underperformed before? You know, that way? Have you ever? I have had. Very few, but they have, you know, transpired moments of uh, performance where I was a, I was less than stellar. Okay. I will, I will admit that. And was this, like, caused by just having too much fun, too much maybe drinking, too much whatever? Like, a little bit of column stress? A, a little bit of column B. Uh, you, know, <laughs> you know, if, you, if, you, uh, if you're tired, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes. Or if you... Uh, you know, you drank a little bit too much, or you ate you ate too much. That's another thing. So you know, and then sometimes you just have those those run offs. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, Jordan wasn't always the top score. It's it's. I mean, it, I think it happens way more than uh, people think. Yeah. I always try to like get my friends to admit it, and they're always just like, "No, never me, never me." Oh no, I'm Captain Dick, <laughs> right? <laughs> Captain Dick. Um, but I feel like it's a it's a it's a pretty normal thing sometimes, it's a thing. and even sometimes it's not even like uh, brought up uh, brought upon by anything. Sometimes you know, sometimes he's just like looking up at me like man. I'm not Mm-mm. I'm not down today. Like wake up, Mm-mm. I'm not in the mood. Come on, man. Um, but I mean, if you've also had this problem, have we got the solution for you? This episode is actually sponsored by mm. Blue Chew, and Absolutely. if you don't know what Blue Chew is, let me tell you, you. <laughs> What? I didn't think that would work. It, it didn't uh, really work. <laughs> so this is uh, something you can use to uh, increase your performance and mm-hmm. get that extra confidence in the bedroom. This is blue chew, uh, like the color blue. Uh, it basically brings you the first chewable mm-hmm. uh, with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Vi- Viagra and Cialis. Um, you can take them anytime, day or night. It's chewable, so it works a lot faster. And you can just pop them when the moment Mm -hmm. arrives. Um, And uh, it's an easy way to enhance your performance. And it's prescribed online by licensed physicians, so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in the pharmacy. Uh, It just goes right to your door in a discreet package. Let me tell you something. What you thinking? I I ordered it. I am not going to lie to you guys. It's actually going to come today, and I am super excited to try it. The smile. I am super excited to try it, because I've tried other ones in the past, and I haven't had, like, the best luck with them. Okay. Like, took too long to kick in or something. But, like, what they're saying is real. Like, I submitted the form and all of that. You Mm got to submit your ID to confirm who you are and your phone number and all of that. Uh And they literally have doctors online waiting to respond. Oh, so you talk to them live? Yeah, I talk. Well, no, they email you back and forth because I I have high blood pressure, so I had to put that down. You know, make sure nothing is going to, you know, match and and ruin something. So um, 
they email me right away like yeah so what's the name of it how much you take what's mm -hmm. the dosage uh what's the milligrams all of that so hit them back with that and they hit me back like five minutes later okay everything's good you checked out um your package is on the way so i was like oh, let's do it oh, let's do it. <laughs> I'm on the uh, I'm on the website now. I think I'm gonna get one too. Uh, they have different. It's like a subscription based one. Yeah. So I guess there's one that has six, mm -hmm. uh, one that has ten, one that has seventeen, and one that has thirty four. My favorite part is the the names. The names. Six is active. Yeah. Ten is busy. Woo! Seventeen is popular. You better know it. And thirty four is pro. Need I say more? Popular is a great alternative thing. It's like no, I'm just popular. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I like it. I'm I not like out it. Here. I'm just popular. I like it. I'm all about it, and I wish. That, Anyway, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Come back to that. I like the I like the names of it right there. So. When you when you take it, um, it, it's supposed to take a lot. But what's the typical time to take, like uh, um, to work? When I I tried Viagra before just to like see what it is, and it was like uh, it took about an hour hour and a half before I really oh. felt something. I was just like, this is this the is, moment has passed. Yeah, she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> she left. Plan my ago. day around taking this pill. Well, apparently this happens, uh, since it is chewable, mm -hmm. it's very fast, very easy, a lot more dependable. Yeah. Um, so check it out. It's called BlueChew.com. That's blue like the color. Uh, they're made in the USA, and mm -hmm. uh, they ship direct. If you go to BlueChew.com, um, your first shipment will be free if you use our promo code DIYS. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did you say it's free? Get your first shipment for free when you use our code DIYS, okay? And you just pay the uh, $5 shipping. Stop watching this right now. Click another tab. Order yours for free Blue right Chew. now. Blue Chew. You're welcome. Use the code DIYS. And get your confidence. BlueChew.com. <laughs> get your confidence back. Um, speaking of confidence. Yes. Every time, I feel like every time I see Meg the Stallion, Woo. I'd be intimidated a little bit. I'd be wondering, well, like, she is, she's tall. She's tall. She's big. She's very statuesque. How she talks. She's mm -hmm. very much about that life. Oh, I'd be she wondering, is. like, could I, could I handle it? Let me tell you something. There are very few women that I've had uh, sexual ex escapades with mm -hmm. that have actually fucked me. Hmm. Meg the Stallion definitely does the fucking mm -hmm. in the bedroom. She'd probably I'm pull saying. my hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, she definitely gonna pull your hair. Like, douche, douche, douche. I'd be like, how we get in this position? <laughs> you, like, <laughs> you like it, don't you? <laughs> how did we get here? <laughs> oh, you like it. <laughs> like it. It's a lot of women. It's a lot of women. It's a lot of freaky women. Yes. And uh, she recently tweeted, I don't know why, but I like to be hot when I sleep. I can't oh. stand sleeping when a motherfucker got the air on 60 damn degrees. And that made me think like, Somebody you gotta handle all that. Yeah. And it's hot. No. With the ace with the heater no. on? No. I would no. die. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you why. No. Uh first of all, the air gotta be on if we smash it because mm -hmm. we're doing most of the work. I'm sorry, ladies. Like I said, like very few. I can maybe count on maybe two hands the amount of women that have fucked me. Some women? Can. Most of the time, a guy is doing most of the work. 80% of the time it's here, mm -hmm. or, or it's here, right here, leg up right here, from the side right here, like from the back. We're still, it's mainly us. It's, it's not a lot of women that will throw it back. Mm -hmm. Over 30, women stop riding. I don't know where that come from. Yeah, they, they be like, ah, oh, this hurts right here. Like, what are you? bad. Oh, oh, oh my like, God. Damn. This, this is not it. This, uh. Man, because you come down and you bring that. Oh, oh! Ooh, I heard oh. Dennis Rodman broke his dick like that like seven times. Who? Dennis Rodman. Yeah, I was interviewing him. He told me that. Really? Yeah, I interviewed. Wow. Him. He's gonna come out. I, I, <laughs> check out Empire. It is amazing. Ouch. Yeah. Broken yeah. wee wee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He broke that car. Put a cast on it. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't. I didn't even want to get too much into detail. I did. I think I did the whole episode with my shirt off. No, that wasn't that one. That was another one. Man, let's hope not. That's a weird thing to. I had out. a jacket on though. No? There's no shirt. I was just still pretty bad. I just thought of Spice Adams. <laughs> <laughs> but women be trash in the bedroom, man. So I don't think Meg is trash for sure. No, nah, Meg looks like she, like I said, she she definitely does the fucking. But back to that, I need that air on because I'm working. Like I'm in that bitch. Like I'm putting together a bit. You ever put it together some furniture in a place that was hot mm. and like and you miss a piece? Like it's so frustrating. But then it's even more frustrating. If it's hot, bro, like, and you sweat and it's running all day in your eyes, uh, no. We got to have that air on. I can't imagine just sitting next to, I don't want to play her or anything, but yeah. she's a big girl, you know? So I, I, I can't imagine just laying next to her with 
my body heat, her body heat, the heater. Yeah, like, there's a lot of heat coming off her undercarriage. I read that Twitter and it just. Uh, you are definitely would be the little spoon with Meg Stagger. She would be. I'd be down with that. You. I'd be down with that. Yeah. For sure. I don't mind being a little spoon though. I like titties on my back. Same. Titties on my back. You, you know what I'm saying? You feel that in the little hips right here, right up, right about your back. You're like, oh, let me turn back. What? You ever force it? You ever just grab her hand and be like. <laughs> I, I like forced the spoon. You forced the spoon? No consent. <laughs> You're the big spoon right now. That's how I feel. <laughs> Teaspoon ass little boy. <laughs> Come here. That is Come hilarious. Here. Be my blanket. <laughs> People who don't sleep with the ceiling fan on or the air on, you guys are out here doing the devil's work. <laughs> you are out here just completing Satan's task. I sleep with the AC and the fan. Oh, man. I like the noise. And I got to have, because I like it cold to where I have to be under the cover. And if even if I get too warm on the cover, I just throw one leg underneath the cover, let that uh -huh. air hit that, and it kind of trolls up to the rest of the body. Oh, That's yeah. good sleep. You got to get it like, a, it's like a reverse hot pocket. It's like a cold pocket. You get all the coldness in there and you close yeah, it. Yeah, you close it up. I do that with the, on cold days, I do that with the heater. I'll put the yes. heater over, the, the blanket over the heater and it fills up and then I close it and it's like a hot pocket. <laughs> you got to do that with the with the cold too. When I take, when I go to the bathroom and take a shit, I have a personal heater. Like, you know, when I take a shit, I like to be warm. I like to, I like warm shits. So I, I would Weirdly, take the I heater. Think I do too. I take the heater in there, and the, the portable in heater. There? Yeah, the portable heater in there, and I just have it on my ah. legs. And I be like, this, like, oh, this is good shit right here. <laughs> Ew, I like shit. this shit. Until <laughs> you sweating. Ah, it's good. I have, I have my iPad sweating? set up. I be like, yeah, oh, yeah. Do everything before you start shitting. Once you wipe, don't touch nothing until you wash your hands. But <laughs> set everything up before you do that. So. Well, speaking of uh, being too hot, mm -hmm. this is the wildest story. So there's a new trend influencers started uh you sunbathe your butthole have you heard that no yep it's called uh it's it's a new popular trend no uh people are literally tanning where the sun don't shine how do you even uh, do that how do you i will show you, uh, you just do, are the they deep... spreading their cheeks or they put like a twig in between their cheeks to no, keep it, it open is, it, a twig no it's <laughs> like this it's just i don't know why three dudes are doing it next to each other but uh, this is, uh, this is, they, they, they spread eagle up in the air and, uh, they let them rays hit where the sun don't shine. Who so, uh, has the core strength to keep that going for an extended amount of time? Are they putting like the sex wedge up on them? Cause that would, would be the only thing <laughs> the I would think that would wedge? be able to, I don't to know. like, to, to handle that, especially it's, for a guy. It's called panerium sunning. Uh, in a mere 30 seconds of sunlight on your butthole, you will receive more energy from this electric node than you would an entire day being outside with your clothes on. Uh, it's a dude named Raw on Earth. He did this in a viral video that racked up over 35,000 views. I didn't know that was viral. Uh, <laughs> Me either. He gestures towards the sun as three naked men lie down, point their backsides to the sky, and make r sounds of pleasure. I didn't know there was moaning. Let me say something. First, first things first, 35,000 not viral. That's, that's 35. 35,000 is not that's absolutely not, that's not, not viral. viral at all. So this whole story, I'm calling bullshit on it because uh, that's not viral. Let's, let's start there. And then 30 secondly, seconds. It says it's called the direct sunlight injection into the anal orifice. I don't believe this. I don't believe it, but I'm also not willing to challenge it enough to where I actually try it. I'm good. Look at this girl. <laughs> well, you know what? Fuck it. If it's somewhere remote like that, I'll try it. And nobody else is around. That's all that it takes? If it's remote, I'll try it. And then I'm calling bullshit after two minutes. Someone said, another thing I like to do is give my vagina a little vitamin D. Don't you all. Uh, <laughs> That's what she said. I was reading an article written by an herbalist. I studied about yeast infections and other genital issues. She said there's nothing better than vitamin D. If you're feeling depleted, go in the sun for an hour. See how much energy you get out. Uh, or if you live in a place that has heavy winters, when the sun finally comes out, spread your legs and get some sunshine. Charge your vagina out here. It's like a solar charge if it gets rainy. Woo! I just started shaving my ass every now and then. I'm down wow. trying to charge my asshole. Charge it. Just I'm not put your, your butthole on the charger. It's too right much, there. man. It's too much, man. I only shave my asshole to make my, my poop smoother. It's less time and you're way cleaner down there. Your hair gets in the way of your poop? Absolutely. That's where the whole dingleberry thing comes from. That's why you get dingleberries oh. because your hair. So I, I have the cleanest ass in the room. That much I can guarantee you. So that you much might right mess now. with the panarium setting. I will not do that. Panarium, no. nope. panarium tanning. Mm-mm. 
I'm pretty sure it doesn't work, but I'm, I'm you know. And I'm I don't even shave my ass like regularly. Every now and then I'd be like, yeah, well, let me go ahead and shave this asshole real quick. Do you use like the the trimmer thing? Yeah, I got a different one for that one. That is uh, not the one that's the same no, face. No, no, not that one. No, no. I, got, I got like four in the house. Two for the face, one for the, then one for that. Woohoo! I don't like those sounds you made. <laughs> you know what? I don't need to watch this. I get it. Nah, nah. I think you wanted to watch it, man. I get it. You like to see the man butt. It was a lot of man butt. It was a lot of man butt. I don't, I don't think I'm going to pull that video. You guys are good. <laughs> you don't want to put it up there? They're always like, You don't want to let them see the man butt? They're always like, why don't you let us see what you're seeing? Because you don't always want to see what we're seeing, okay? This is damn internet. You're scary. We what take you? a lot of shit to the face for you guys. We are a big shield <laughs> standing in the way. <laughs> we're there. We're the Avengers of this show, <laughs> goddamn it. We're the shield around the world. We take the blunt of it, and then we give it to you. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, go out there. Uh, get, your, get your butthole, uh, you know. Don't do that out. shit, man. That shit's stupid. Why would you <laughs> ever do that shit? Well, no, okay, I can see Pat trying it. I can see Pat Why? in the woods. And I don't like butthole stuff. I feel like you would be, you would have a bandana on. You would have just started a fire. You probably smoked something. He was like, it's a Sunday day. By myself? I'm trying to charge my asshole. Did yeah. you have a female with me? Jesus. I mean, she might be. And she'd be down, and I'd be like, I don't want to do it. And then 10 minutes later, it's like, oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I feel refreshed. That's the power of vagina. I feel recharged. I feel like if anything, those guys did it because of some chick. Yeah. They're just like. Or to get chicks. Make a video go viral just so you can get chicks. It's always either for money or for women. Everything. Everything. All of your greatest feats have been for money or for women. Or somehow connected to that. Yeah. Somebody's like, like oh, was... I just I just cured foot disease. Is that so your feet don't stick while you with your woman? Okay? It's always for something money what, or women. What about involved. family? What if that was like something that they're Nobody gives a fuck about family. Someone had in their family had foot disease. <laughs> they don't give a shit about that. But how do you get family? From people fucking. Who uh, you fucking? Women. Always comes matter. back to women. That meta. Yeah. It's always that. I'm sure like they called some girls and they're just like, What are you guys doing over there? It's like, oh, we're baby. Ten in our buttholes, like what? It's like, yeah, come through. You guys can come through if you if you do it too. It's like he hung up the phone, like, oh, they're already naked. Fuck yeah, let's go, <laughs> yeah. women. It's always for that. There oh, are God, very few true philanthropists in the world. There are very few people who really just do shit out of the goodness of their fucking heart. Not them. Not them. I think if your legs are already up, spreading, it's just like I'll just eat the butt. Yeah, fresh out the sun. Yeah. Fresh out, it's like almost like a warm. Oh God! <laughs> Say it. It's like Say a, it. It's like microwave butt. It's like you're eating <laughs> a home home cooked microwave food. butt. No one's ever had hot butt unless they were like fresh. <laughs> unless it was like they were sweaty, which is the bad kind of hot. But maybe like, it's hot if it's right out the shower. Because I know women that like when they when they they cleaning like, like cleaning the undercarriage, they bend over like that, a little bit. That cools over in like two seconds. Yeah. By the time you get out, get dried, and get ready. What if she took a shot, a bath? Would the butt be hot then? I think by the time you're out, because you know how you be in a hot hot water and then you yeah. get out in the towel and you're already shivering. I think your body works like that. So like, I think somebody should make this experiment. Ta ladies, if you got a guy, I want you to take a shower. All right, fellas, you got to watch shower. it too. Take a hot shower first. Make sure you're clean. And then get in the tub. Soak in that tub for about 10, 15 minutes. Let mm -hmm. that butt get real hot. Soon as you stand up, fellas, I need you to run in there, eat that butt. Tell me if warm butt tastes different than high, uh, cold butt. And do trial and error. Be like, this is what it tastes like five minutes after the shower. This yeah. is seven minutes after the shower, nine minutes after the shower. About 12 minutes, it starts to cool down. Yeah. And you need to reheat. The butt. Something like that. I want yeah. like recipe let's directions. Do, yeah, let's do like time variables and let's also do like temperature variables. So if the water is like 80 degrees, mm -hmm. you know, 75 degrees, 70 degrees. Obviously, I would think that the warm is going to be hotter. I mean, right. a bit longer. But you never know, you know what I'm saying? Like this, this is all true stuff. Because if anything, this could advance sex because nobody's ever eaten warm butt or warm vagina for that matter. It's well, vagina's not, already it's, warm. It's already warm. It's already warm, but it's not like prepared warm. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's just like lukewarm, like body temperature. You no, know what might be good is warm butt with syrup. I don't know why syrup just came to mind, but like warm butt with syrup. It's like a might waffle. Be the, yeah. Like an unedible He's got them creases right there. He's like, let me get in there. See what that's like. Creases? You know, you know the bell, like the, it was like a, like sunflower petals. Like, oh, like the sun? Yeah. Like the sun rays? Yeah. That's what it kind of looks like. Syrup? Why not? Like some warm syrup? 
if if butt had a condiment, because I like the shit I breeze past was like barbecue sauce, ketchup, like yeah. oh no 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 that's way too much. Soy Those sauce. only go good on the designated food for them. Barbecue sauce is uh, chocolate sauce is ass. By the way, I tried that in college on a syrup out of the bottle. Like I, look, no. I looked down and she was like. It, had a, it looked like a... Yeah, you don't want that. It's like See, cartoon yeah, character that, yeah. with that's, that's too much. Face. That's too like, much. Ooh, God. And whipped cream is, you know, whipped lactose. Cream. So it, uh, they might... You never know with that. You but might syrup, be right. Syrup might be pretty safe, bro. I'm thinking, I'm thinking syrup. You might be right. Warm ass and warm syrup. Let us know. Is it something you would try? Hmm? I want to go on a... I want to go on the internet next week and be able to search that video because... Somebody from the damn squad had the courage. We're going to find out how gross our fans are. <laughs> I They're love like, it. I already did that. I'll fuck with y'all like a condom if somebody does that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, moving right along. Did you hear this whole thing with Shiggy? Yes, I just I just saw that yesterday. So I'll play the video. Um, Shiggy was kind of pressed by Fabulous and Casanova, the rappers. And Fabulous was basically saying... I had I want I asked Shiggy to do a, a, a viral challenge, mm -hmm. and he asked Shiggy asked me to cut a check, mm -hmm. and then it panned over to Casanova talking about like you should be you did that for free you should be doing this for free and Shiggy's like you can tell he's kind of nervous <laughs> this nigga Casanova is a whole prison nigga yeah Casanova is uh, a different type of energy he don't bro. play uh, but every they're like pressing him yeah. For asking for a check, and I guess like you know, obviously they're the rappers and they want you to be on their side. But right. I was reading, I was like looking at this like, why wouldn't he want a check? Right. That that viral dance challenge made Drake's song the number one song in the country. It was already doing well, but that definitely helped it. Uh -huh. And my thing is, he did that on his. Uh, Shiggy did it on his own accord. Yeah. Drake didn't ask him to do it. Right. Shiggy did it. It blew up. He put him in a video. All of that type of stuff. The benefit from that is the notoriety, mm -hmm. and he's Drake, one of the biggest artists in the world, right. arguably, right? And it was Shiggy's idea. Yeah, and I, I love Fab. I'm a big Fab fan, not too familiar with Casanova. Mm -hmm. However, Fab ain't had a worldwide smash hit in a while, mm -hmm. and they're asking him to do it. It's like, like if I, if I, if I promote something that I really like on my own accord, I was like, right. yo, I really fuck with this. Uh, Y'all should check this product out because I tried it and this is dope. I'm not getting paid to say it. I'm just telling y'all this made my life better. So if I can make somebody else's life better, right. that's cool, right? That company don't owe me nothing. They want to send me some more of that product, kind of cool. Right. But if a company reaches out, I'm like, yo, man, how much for you to uh, put my song in your video? Okay, Run but now up. we're negotiating. Run it up, even yeah. if you like the song. Yeah, even if I like it. But like, once you approach me for it's my service. service, if I, I will never forget, somebody once told me, if you do something well, never do it for free. That's true. That was the Joker. <laughs> I mean, he said it too, but I heard it way before that. <laughs> something well. Someone told me this. He's like, he told the whole theater. <laughs> um, but there's a couple things that are weird about this. Number one, you're right. Fab hasn't had a hit in a minute. I am a Fab, Fab fan as well, but it's like, A, it's showing the power of these influencers. Yeah. You got these people reaching out to them. But it's like, you got these rappers who brag all day about making money. And now that you're you're the one who's don't want to pay? Like I can see Shiggy not wanting to pay, but like You mean Fab? Casanova? Yeah, but <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I think it's probably in a local prison right now. Uh <laughs> You said Shiggy not wanting to pay. He's the one. It's like Casanova. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Casanova know. should have Casanova. paid too. Well, I don't know if Casanova was asking. Oh, okay. Maybe uh, he was just siding with Fab. I don't know, but it's just like Y'all rappers, like, pay the man. Like, first of all, we, we the first ones to talk about black people holding other black people down. And, but it's like, this is a little black kid who can help you out, and you're on TMZ as a grown man in your, in your what's that, Fat 40 yet? He, he got to be late 30s, 40s. He's over here talking about this. He wants some money because I asked him to do something. I'm what? sure those glasses he got on, I am almost sure those glasses cost probably at least a rack. Fam, so you can spend least. a rack on some glasses, but you can't pay this man like to blow your song up, right? Like not even like ten racks. What what would ten racks hurt you? And if it is gonna hurt you, then don't ask for it. That's really messed up. You know who else said something? Uh, Diana Ross. Diana Ross said, um, "You know my fee. That's why you came to me. And if you can't afford my fee, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't have sat at the table." Yeah, it was something. Something like I'm paraphrasing, but. 
That's it. You know, you know my. I think she said, "You know my worth," mm -hmm. which is why you came to me. So pay my fee. It's literally like how people treat. Uh, there's a lot of people who get treated like this. Specifically, uh, artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Artists are rarely paid for their time. Sometimes they'll do a free one, just like Shiggy, to send it to somebody, mm -hmm. and then that person would expect free art forever. And it's right. like, no, nah, fam. I was just like, you know, this is, this is what I do. Yeah. So I, I think an influencer went online to talk about this. Uh, I think she was saying something like, uh, if a brand reaches out to you, they should pay. But if, if, if you promote something, they have no right to be like, yo, can you shout me out if they're not paying? You know? Right. So it's, it's, it's interesting that we're coming to this pinnacle in time where like influencers are like officially a thing now. And mm. now we're working out all the business behind it because it was never it was never declared. You Bro, know? It's, so, it's so crazy. The amount of jobs that have been created in the last 15 years alone mm. that were not even in existence prior right. to like it's I wish thing. I could go to my daughter's career day and be like, yo, the one thing I would tell kids in high school is keep your creative imagination mm -hmm. because you don't know where the world's going to be in five to 10 years. Hell yeah. When I was in high school, there wasn't gaming was not a thing. Like there, definitely not a, not a, a, a actual career. It was a waste, waste of time. Yeah. Your parents would tell you, you are never going to get anywhere playing those video games. Fam, Shit. Gamers make millions of dollars. Athlete level money. Off of streaming. We're not even talking about like competition, endorsements, oh. all of that. Do you know the NBA has a subdivision for gamers? That's Fucking insane. I just bro. got invited to the Lakers um, workout gym and I was like, the Lakers? And they're like, no, like the E Lakers. Yeah. So, like, there's literally a little scrawny white kid that is walking around and he is the official point guard of the Los Angeles Lakers, but in video games. Oh my God. It's literally gotten to that point. I just saw, I just saw. Um, That's so fucking crazy. Who's the owner, who's the owner of the Dallas uh, Mavericks? Uh, oh, the Jer Mavericks. Uh, Jones, uh, Jerry? No, that's he's he's cowboy. Cowboys. Yeah, the, the Mavericks is um one of them. It was either the Cowboys or the Mavericks, but I saw a photo of um the owner shaking hands with somebody like at a signing. Uh -huh. And it was like he was getting on like signed onto the team. <laughs> but it's crazy. He's basketball cuz the Mavericks are basketball, Cowboys are football. I want to say it's happening with basketball, but it might be both at this point. Oh, uh, well that that was dude from Shark Tank, wasn't it? Mark Cuban? Yeah, doesn't he own the Mavericks? Yeah, doesn't he own the Mavericks? Maybe. I don't know sports stuff, guys. No, no, no Mark Cuban chemistry. does own the Mavericks. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't remember who was in the photo. But yeah. it was literally like the equivalent of the black dude holding up the jersey. But it was just like some random white kid. Controller. Yeah, he's, I, I picture them in warm-ups. <laughs> and they just sit down and start playing. Because it's funny, when you uh, watch a pro gamer, they're drinking like Gatorade and Red Bull. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> what, are you do, what are you doing? <laughs> a, Jim Gaffigan has one of the funniest jokes uh, and it's about bowling actually being a sport mm -hmm. and like them having a coach. Like, what the fuck do you need a coach for? What is he <laughs> telling you? Just Technique. Well, this time you want to, you want to throw it right down the center. <laughs> it's a good check. <laughs> it's it's a easy like, check. He's like, what are you sweating for? You're literally <laughs> just throwing a ball, chalking your hands up. You guys got jackets? <laughs> you need jackets? It's so Oh, man, Jim Gaffigan is one of my favorite. I like Jim Gaffigan. His, his, my favorite album from him is Against the Pale. That's that's the one where he's like, hi, ah, pockets. Like that one. I've never listened to a comedy album. I oh, like seeing man. them. I, I, I like, I think I got into albums because when I first learned, of, like, so I listened to Bill Cosby, most of the stuff was on albums. Yeah. So I just became accustomed to They didn't have cameras yet, huh? I mean, they did, but they weren't like that. <laughs> she was a young ass. Doing jokes into that little Little thing. spooled ass. <laughs> so what's the deal with airline food? <laughs> That's well, okay. Your beard don't connect. So at the end of the day. Connect. But you know what? Do connect. These holiday vibes. That was so, fucking, no, that was horrible. This is the worst transition ever. You could have found anything else. I was looking for something, okay? <laughs> I, was, I was like, you got to, you got to. Well, let's connect to something else. Let's connect to holidays because we are in the That's midst of did. that. No. I yeah. did that. Well, you, you know what does connect? Holidays. These the same connect. holiday vibes. Yeah, I thought you were having a Thanksgiving stroke. Thanksgiving connects to Christmas. I was pretty sure you were having a stroke. Oh, well. The holidays are here, <laughs> everybody. We got Christmas coming up. Family's coming into yes. town. Probably going to be doing a lot of drinking. Woo! Right? But 
We got the solution for yes. you. We got the solution. Oh. Talk to him to Talk. hear. Oh, man, let me Talk tell you. Talk to him to oh. hear. The this DHM is DHM Detox. Detox, no days wasted. This is an amazing product um, where if you're tired of hangovers, this is what you need in your life, man. I got three boxes. First box is gone. This is uh, what's left of the second box. Um, these are amazing, man. I take one package around my second drink, and if I have a really long night, I'll take another package at the end of the night. Um, amazing. I mean, I got... You got the wasted. I got the wasted. spent no days wasted. I got the wasted, but I spent no days wasted. Uh, it was amazing, man. I woke up feeling good. I woke up like I only had one or two drinks. And I had a in, lot. in excess of eight. So he called me. Yeah. And was like, fam. Fam. <laughs> I listen did. to my voice. I was wasted last night. And I am good. I should have woke up in jail. <laughs> it's dope. I, I've, I've used it also. And it worked perfectly. I didn't go as hard. Um, but it's, it's, it's dope. It's basically like a vitamin for drinkers. Mm -hmm. A hangover is really just built up uh, toxins, toxins from, alcohol. from all the alcohol. So this gets... All of that right out's backed by science. And you can't debate science. Okay. okay. I took uh, I took two packets because I, I knew what I was about to do. Okay. So once I got home. So that was I heavy. Did. Oh, and yeah. you still didn't feel anything. Bro, I woke up gold. I went and played 18 holes of golf that day. <laughs> did you really? Yeah, man. That was four hours on the field, on the green, bro. I was out there. <laughs> and I felt great. But this is def definitely check out DHM toxins. It's a blend of natural ingredients, antioxidants, vitamins. They're optimists to fight off that awful next day feeling. Um, and it's, um, it's free shipping on all U.S. orders. So there's really no reason not to get this. Um, and if you, don't, if you don't feel better the next day, you get your money back. That's really, risk free. It's really one of those things. But if you, for some reason, do, feel a hangover the next day, you get your money back. So you know that they're 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 standing behind their stuff. So uh, we all got you twenty percent off your first order. Just mm -hmm. use the code D I Y S and uh, head over to dhmdetox.com and the promo code one more time is D I Y S. Oh. All right. I love it. I love it too. All right. So uh, just a few more things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. before we get on up out of here. Did you know that H uh, and M is starting a clothing rental service. Really? Mm-hmm. It's very strange. They're about to test out a new rental program uh, that they hope will lower their environmental footprint. They have a controversial past behind them with all the black stuff. Uh, and they're trying to move forward. They just announced they'll be testing out a clothing rental service. This is in Stockholm, Sweden. Sweden gets a lot of cool stuff first. Yeah, they do. Um, but the new program will allow members uh, of their loyalty program to rent out 50 garments a month and this will come at a low cost of only thirty-seven dollars a week. Okay, I mean there are, there are there are companies out now that do like the rental. Like my old lady, she gets stuff in the from, mail, right? Yeah, the okay. mail, and then you know um, she sends it back and stuff like that. I think she gets like five pieces a month. Um, this is fifty. I know, but it's thirty-seven dollars a week versus I think she might pay like fifty to uh, sixty dollars a month. Do you wear something. fifty outfits in a month? <laughs> I don't. I but feel like I mean, I'm 30 and, le and under, just in case those days I'd be, you know. Well, I mean, you know, they probably not like, I don't, I don't know, man. That is a lot. Like, top and bottoms, maybe some scarves and stuff like that. Maybe it's not all like, maybe some Full of it's clothes. accessories, too. Like, I mean, H&M does have a lot of accessories, yeah. but it's like, H&M have been coming out with some fire, but 37 a week? 37 a week is a lot. What is the math? That is 100 and... 48. 48. Oh, God damn it. That's, That's a bill. I'm good. It is. Key. It is. Have you forgiven them, though? <laughs> I actually haven't shopped at h &M in a while. Same. And, like, I, 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 I'm, I'm completely indifferent as far as the shopping. I still feel that they dropped the ball with a couple of those images, but I just, I'm not, I just kind of got away from it. I'm more so to like really Zara. It's not really about the. Uh, well, that strengthened it. Yeah. Like when the protests happened, I was like, all right, well, I'm doubling down. Yeah. I had already stopped kind of going in, like, the stuff just wasn't really hitting for me. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, and then also, I was too big for a lot of the stuff, and I wasn't even, like, huge. It just was like they started switching to, like, the more, they're a European based company, and, like, they started doing a lot more clothes like that. So I was just like, oh, forget them. Should have went to H&M and M. &M. They're laughing at home. Damn, that was good. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Last I thought I you were going to go with, uh, you should have went with H-A-M. And I was like. 
<laughs> I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting Dang for it. it. I was waiting, but Dang I'm it. glad you didn't. <laughs> what are you shop? Hang on, let me wait for a cut. Let me wait for a cut. You should have shopped at H A M. No, the other was going in there. I was seeing if there's a way to cut it all out and make it seem like I had that joke. <laughs> the power of editing, my friends. Um, I don't think that's going to work out, though. Oh, man. All right. Well, now we have come to the best part of the podcast, the Conspiracy Corner. Cue the slower and eerier music. Satan, why you sad? Satan, why you sad? Why you mad? Wipe your tears, Satan. Wipe your tears, Satan. Why you sad? Cause we stomped on you with the Holy Ghost. Holy, Holy Ghost. Holy, holy smokes. Why you so sad today? You a fucking joke. Is that for Kanye's new album? No, it became, it, it was like a, it was like, it became a Satan diss track. <laughs> you a joke, Satan. Stand up. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't know where to go with that. Um, but, uh, I just don't like saying the word Satan, to be honest. Yeah. But there was, there was a mysterious deep web horror game called Sad Satan, and uh, it's really hard to find. I actually kind of freaked out looking for this because I didn't want to find the next thing, but it is terrifying and confusing the internet. Let me read a little blurb that I found really quick, just a little blurb. So it's a game called Sad Satan on the deep web, and it's so scary that it can make you mentally unstable. Uh, there's no record of who made the game. Google actually hid the game in this search, but the game is coded with a simple code, which when cracked, can give you a way to contract, contact spirits. Um, we're about to play it right now. We are so not about to play I'm it right now. I'm just kidding. We are not, I rebuke your computer <laughs> and you. Oh shit, here it go right now, but I'm not about to play it. Oh, that's uh, the, the video clip of it? I guess it's a, a, a clip of the game, but I'm, I'm good. You didn't watch it yet? Hell no, I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> I just wanna talk about it, so. <laughs> But this, this is a conspiracy corner. You gotta, you gotta view it. If it's something like, remember when we did? Um, this was ba way back in the day. We did the suicide song. It was like that old composition that people were killing themselves to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't listen to that either. I, I'm, I'm not messing with something that can get your head. torment me. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, this is one of those stories that doesn't have a conclusion yet. Um, it's, uh, it, it's. It's, it's in the deep, dark web, and we've, we've touched on that a couple of times um, with these really creepy videos, but this one can actually mess your life up. So it's not um, accessible by any search engines. Mm. It's not listed in any directories, but it's plastered all over social media. So it's in a private data, database. It's a pass, password lock server. Uh, there's private websites and forums. So this is uh, something that has a paywall, so you really got to want to fuck yourself up to get right. to it. Um, but yeah, the deep web is, is, is super weird. People are selling illegal drugs and all that kind of stuff. But there's an indie game called Sad Satan that is more crazy than all of this stuff. Uh, the, the owner of the YouTube channel is called, named Jamie. It's called Obscure Horror Center. And one of the subscribers sent him a link to a game called Sad Satan that was located in a deep website uh, where people can post their files anonymously. Um, it was only signed with the initial ZK. And Jamie downloaded the file and he was linked to and it ran a, a malware check on it. Everything seemed to check out. So he started playing the game and recording videos for his YouTube channel. Uh, and the game ended up being super, super weird. So you walk down a series of dark hallways and a dark maze and usually hear footsteps that make up the soundtrack. Now, if you've ever played a horror game with no sound, it's really, if you could only hear footsteps and little sounds, way creepier. Uh, only occasionally were the visuals interrupted by brief flashes of black and white photography, and towards the end of the video, the soundtrack builds to a loud rumble accompanied by what sounds like the dialogue track, extremely slowed down. Uh, the two flashed images in the first Im uh, video is a gentleman at Konopsky, I don't know what that is, in the, in the Czech Republic. Uh, it was the last residence of Franz Ferdinand, an avid hunter, and the guy whose assassination started World War I. 
uh, the internet discovered that the man pictured is Franz Joseph, the ninth prince of Thurn. It's a crazy title. Uh, the second is Jimmy Salvi and Margaret Thatcher promoting the National Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Children. Uh, this is obviously here for irony because Jimmy Savile was notoriously accused of many child sexual assaults. Jesus, like this. that picture of him is just not, that's not flattering. Right? <laughs> a few vid days later, the second video popped up. A black and white images uh, flashed, this time of a, f a photo of JFK minutes before he was assassinated, and a close-up of the sabbatic goat, which is the uh, yeah. satanic baphomet. Um, there's also more dialogue being played backwards, which is a huge thing, weirdly, in satanic and uh, some radio station clips being mixed into the atmospheric audio. So obviously that's not the creepiest part. The creepiest part is the second half of the video that reveals there's also children-sized beings in this maze with you. Um, occasionally a white screen will flash in the game with some seemingly random uh, wingdings in the a small black background. Uh, so if somebody und uh, discovered these symbols are anything but random, one of the sand, uh, uh, symbol says, I can track you. One of them says, good luck. One of them says, buried. Kill, kill again. You are on my list. Five victim, hail 666, and sad people died. Um, so I guess he, he played it long enough uh, to record a few videos for his site, but then he deleted the game because it kept spawning a notepad file on his, de on his desktop. Uh, recently, he started uploading the videos with this in the description. Strange feel to the game, and there doesn't seem to be any aim. I just wandered around and got teleported to different sections. Nothing really happened, but it has this odd feeling about it, and it kind of freaks me out. There's more to come on this. I have a few more videos recorded, and the game keeps getting more bizarre. I don't think I finished it, but I did delete it because it was getting a bit strange, and there was a notepad file that kept appearing on my desktop uh, with gibberish messages. <laughs> um, <laughs> this, dude is freak this dude is freaking Yo, out, but still uploading. He has That's a whole YouTube thing. page strictly devoted to horror, and he was like, this don't play is this. too much. <laughs> it's funny that he's still uploading, but in the description, he's like, I'm feeling sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I, I guess there was one of the videos that had a lengthy monologue from Charles Manson uh, in the back, and you're forced to listen to a pretty large chunk of it. Wow, there's more creepy imagery fat flashed. Uh, flashed. Uh, one of the key Manson phrases that he said, if I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. Uh, then it pops up in a creepy lantern lit hallway with the screen on, uh, reading text saying, suffering doesn't end. Uh, they show a bunch of, they, they want me to play a bunch of these audio clips. I am not. Uh, Pat is scrolling through everything. Nah, I mean, is, I'm, not, I'm not even trying to look at these images for As too long. viewable or audible, he's like, nah. They <laughs> out here playing Stairway to Heaven backwards, which could be to hell. Uh, <laughs> uh, Do that escalator in reverse, baby boy. But yeah, I guess it's uh, it's saying, there's, there's some things that say, oh, here's to my sweet Satan, the one whose little path would make me sad. Uh, he'll give those with him 666. There was a little tool shed where he made us suffer. Sad Satan. Uh, yeah, man, go ahead and burn your laptop, man. Just go ahead and throw that shit the fuck away, man. This is... That is... Please don't play this. I just wanted to show you, shed light on it. Do not look this up. Because um, there have been updates since then. And um, really? yeah, there's been a couple of, there's a couple of uh, websites uh, that say like they played it and they've had similar experiences. Um, yeah, apparently it's, 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 it's out here. Somebody said uh, a month or two ago, a subscriber sent me the link. They found, they found something creepy and knew that I would be interested. See, people are just messing people's lives up, just like sending it to people like, yeah, check this out, check this out. And now these people are like sad. <laughs> It's some creepy things in here. It says, you know, you just keep walking. There's no progress. Uh, but eventually you get closer to like a flickering light. There's strange muffled sounds. It sounds like a kid gasping. Uh, the player turns back, walks for a little bit, turns around again. Now there seems to be a different door made out of light in the distance. It's almost like simulating what happens when you die or something. Voices turn into a growl. You hear, oh God, you just hear growling and... And what if this is made by like just some really dark kid? Like he's just really good at this shit, and he's like, yeah, "This is gonna fuck him up." It's like what dogs see. <laughs> <laughs> Someone breathing on your neck. Uh, 
Yeah, the disturbing. I don't like when people just flash images because I'm like, you're trying to get into my brain. Yeah. And I don't know what you're trying to do there. I could be a sleeper cell. Don't do that, motherfucker. You right? activate me. It's now like, I gotta go do shit. Protect Russia. It's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you ever even been there? Never. Yeah. Never. Oh, this is freaky. I don't wanna. I don't wanna go into this. But um. Yeah, I don't fuck with none of that shit. All that shit, the devil. It's literally sad Satan. Yeah. People are literally sit on here saying, I won't give a play by play. But just lots of creepy hallways. Just let me tell you that. <laughs> and then apparently these little kid things pop up, which they seem pretty freaky. Uh, I'm only going by pictures, by the way. I'm going to be very selective for what I put is up it, there. Is, I don't it, wanna... is it too big? It does not have the, great graphics. The, the graphics so. look shit. The graphics are not good. Yeah. Um, like PlayStation 1. That's hilarious. I guess there's a sequel called Sad, Sad Satan. <laughs> even, even sadder Satan this time. Oh, all right. That's uh, a, that is enough. All yeah. right. That's a, that's, that's a lot. I'm going to go watch lot. Adventure Time. That's a lot. This is, yeah, that's a, that's a lot. So Sad Satan, y'all. Let's, let's put that back on the Amazing show. World of Gumball. Next, right after these messages. It's funny. The first time I watched <laughs> The Ring, I was so freaked out. I watched uh, like an Elmo movie. <laughs> Oh, they remaking the ring. No, they remaking the Grudge. The Grudge. It doesn't look bad. Woo! I like the Grudge. Me too. The Grudge with that. She calls. She was like, uh, "I went in the house." Uh, yeah. And you find out, like, you did that because your nigga broke your neck. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was just a scary ghost noise, but he was. She was like, uh, <laughs> "I'm down for the Grudge." Yeah. Not that down for Sad Satan, however. I'm not doing Sad Satan. You miss me with that bullshit. Indeed. I didn't like the title, to be honest. Somebody sent me that, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I'll check it out. I'll, I'll make any promises. I'm about to 50% this conspiracy theory, because <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't putting no spirits in my house. More spirits in my house for y'all entertainment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that's been another amazing episode of Damn Internet You Scary. Can you say that? Can you say it's been an amazing episode? That's been an amazing episode of Damn amazing. Internet You Scary. We're vain. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, huge shout out to our Patreons. We see mm -hmm. the, the number is growing. The damn Dang. squad, our army is getting bigger. Uh, we're going to have a, a lunchtime lottery. You guys got it last weekend, but uh, the rest, everybody will be getting it this Sunday, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, happy December, man. Stay, stay warm out there. I know a couple of you guys hitting me up saying it's, you snowed in and rained in. Mm. We're in Los Angeles, so we get the, the best version of that. Yeah, but it's uh, raining right now, though. It kind of sucks. But yeah, yeah, but it ain't going to stop nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very light and polite rain. <laughs> Uh, but shout out to all you guys. Stay warm out there. You have any parting words? Uh, man, love on each other. I just recently had an incident where, like, I, you know, could have got mad and flipped out and all of that type of stuff. But I was just like, man, I ain't gonna solve that, man. So just focus on the positive, man. Tell your folks that you love them. Uh, today on my way here, I called like five of my friends I hadn't spoke to in like a month or so and just checked on them, see how they're doing. They were just on my heart, man. It just happened? Just on my heart. Just calling. Hey, man, just checking in. I just want to listen. I love you. What's going on? I, I think so negatively. I get scared when that happens. Like, why, yeah. why did I think of them? Are they about to die? Like, <laughs> yeah. No. I never I, thought of it like that, but I, like I, like that. When, I, when I don't, when I get a phone call from somebody I haven't talked to in a while, I automatically think that something's wrong or they mm -hmm. want money. But I be trying to just spell that myself and just be like yeah. calling just to check on people, man. Make sure everybody's good. That's good. That's a good. That's a good lesson to leave off on. Just yeah. call in, check on your friends. I know a lot of people who uh, uh, tell me that people only hit them up, like you said, when they want something. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's you know it's refreshing. Yeah, when you hit somebody up, and it's just like no, I'm just checking in on you. Uh, especially if that person is, you know, dealing with something in their life, that might mean everything to them. It so really might. Do not play Sad Sad Satan. Instead, turn this off and call up a couple people and tell them, do the opposite of what Sad Satan wants you to do. <laughs> and uh, make him even sadder. This has been another episode of Damn Internet You Scary. I have been the co-host, Patrick How Patrick. <laughs> you are to hear more. Can you just sign off? <laughs> See you guys next time. I'll we'll see you more. Peace. <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> 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 <laughs>